you know, as we start with anything, like whether it was cloud, whether it was chat GPT or LLMs, um, keep experimenting with with agents, start, start small, choose your use cases correctly so that you can show business ROI, right? Without that, everything else, technology is, is, is meaningless, right? So that's where I would say start small, but keep an open mind and keep experimenting. And um, the, the, the part about AI agents is whatever we build today, we know ourselves, our kids and grandkids are going to use in the future, right? So we need to make sure that we adhere to the right kind of ethics in terms of explainability as well as, um, you know, mitigating bias and things like that. That's where I would, um, you know, sort of put, put it together. Thank you. Kohai, how can companies get involved? Yeah. I add in the, some of my comments to the Sumi. The, uh, making a quick start is very important and to be accounted to the stakeholders when you are starting to the specific agents that you should be, uh, make, making a promise to the users, the other stakeholders. This agent might be protected to your own rights to making secure to your own the benefits. So that, that's become so important under the uh, transition of the data protection, the privacy perspective. Wonderful, thank you. Dutch, what's your what's your top tip? <laughs> but I'll just build on, on what's been said, right? So p- pick a workflow that you understand really well, whiteboard that out or do it on a digital whiteboard and look at pieces of that, break it into steps, right? Uh, Andrew Ning, who, I'm sorry, Andrew Ning, who we all know, he talks about this, right? Break it into structure process, right? And pick a piece of this, as, as, as they both said, right? Um, that you understand really well and do something that's low risk, that you understand and that you can get a quick return because you're going to make mistakes because you don't really know, you know, what you're doing. So, so, so pick something that's not high risk, that's not a huge impact. And get to know it, right? Make quick iterations, do that minimally viable approach, right? That we do in cloud and, and other uh, engineering environments. So start small, use a structured process, build from there. Wonderful. Thank you. Noel, your your final thoughts. I mean, the AI Leadership Institute, you have to be leading this charge. Absolutely. Yes. I will say that we have a, a couple of mantras that we use. One is to be a doer, not a talker. That in the world of this type of technology, it is easier to build than even to think by yourself. Like it is easier to just use your words. But that being said, the second mantra we have is clarity over velocity. That as you have tools that can massively speed up your ability to solve a problem, the most important thing you can do is take time to actually become clear on what you want. Uh, Many of us here know that when you start building an AI project, the easiest path to failure is to just not know what success looks like, not have defined a single metric of what success looks like. And then the last part of that equation is building on what Dutch said about minimum viability. But I take it a tiny bit step further and, and build for remarkableness, build for delightfulness. You can build a lot of viable things with AI today. You can vibe code an entire platform in like an hour. So build for delightfulness of your user, of your stakeholder. How would you get them to have a reaction like, that is amazing, that's awesome. How do we do more of that? We control as the builders, we control that ability to delight our users as well as solve their problems. So why not take that approach? Wonderful, thank you. Raj, quick hit. We're we're getting ready to to wrap this up. What's what's your top tip for companies uh, uh, looking into this technology? I think like pretty much like everybody in the team covered like a lot of the things. One thing I would say is do it for purpose. Don't just do it for competition. Just don't try to do it just because your competitor is doing or somebody else is like getting into the AI game. I would say like keep it simple and do it with purpose, and then make it a business solution rather than just like doing it for the sake of, oh yeah, I'm also into AI. I I love it. Do it with purpose. 